This video is going to look at how to remove the background from an image and then use that image as part of a collage. I have, I'm using Pixlr, which is a free online editor, and I have two pictures. I've got a picture of a pool, and then I have a picture of four kids having a good time on holiday. And what I want to do is take the four children only. So I could just, with the lasso, just select this part. The, that's the only bit I, I want to keep. And I want to delete the background. Now, instead of doing it in Pixlr, which would take a, a bit of time and fiddling, I can use a online website called clippingmagic.com, which is in beta and free at the moment to remove background from an image. This is particularly good for an image that has uh, detailed backgrounds. So there is some tutorials. So you can always go back and have a look at that a little bit further. And there is some examples of what it looks like. So for example, the squirrel is the, the original picture. And what you do is indicate with a green line or green dots what part of the image you want to keep, the foreground, and then any red lines or marks are, is the part of the image that you want to delete. So let's try our own. So I'm going to select this, the file Kids on Holiday, and it gives you some, some suggestions on what you've got to do. So uploading the image. This is all done online, so you need the internet, there is no software. You can't do this if you do not have an internet connection. Stay well inside the lines is the advice and let the algorithm of the software work out where the edges are. So the picture on the left is the original and that's where we're going to put the green and the red marks and the picture on the right is the result. There's a, a toolbar up here so let's just have a quick look at that. The end result, when you finally got the, the background removed, can be downloaded as a JPEG image. You could magnify it, zoom in, and zoom out. Undo and redo. It has a toolbar, which we'll explore a bit later, where you can change um, the way the feathering is, how smooth the actual uh, distinction between the background and the foreground is. Uh, if you select custom and there's also a way to define hair which is a bit more precise you've got a different size brush so at the moment we're on a size 20 brush you can see the size of the, the green dot going down to five so if i wanted to be very precise and do a clipping path here near their heads because you've got the two heads going in then i might change the brush to a five uh, you've got a, an eraser, so if I draw with the red, a red line, and I made a mistake, I can use that eraser to rub that out. Or go undo and redo. You've got different backgrounds. So the, the idea is to make the picture on the right transparent. So you can then put it into, so I can put it into, the uh, pixelar uh, in the foreground of the hotel pool. Uh, so I don't want another colour, but you could also remove the background and put different colours on just to see what it would look like. They give you some presets here, or you can pick your own. So if I wanted a, a, a bright green, I can select the green and then move inside there to select the exact shade. I'm going to keep it as transparent. So the green, we're going to select that part of the image that I want to keep. So it's going to go straight across to the edge there. Down here, because there is a section inside here that needs to be cut away. And across there. Now I suspect I'm going to have to do a clipping path here to get very precisely around their heads but let's just leave it for the moment and see what happens so now with the red this is the part that i don't want and as i start to draw that line the background disappears 
So it has taken a lot of their head away as well. So what I think I need to do is draw with a small pen around the shape of the head. And then it starts to come back. And this is the clipping path. And the top of the head up here without trying without going over the lines. And it's still a little bit of cleaning up to do in the in the top there, but it's looking a lot better than it was. It's a bit over on the right here as well. So right against the edge. And then with the red don't need that part and a red line in the middle there I want that part gone as well so let's look at how it might look with a different feather so at the moment smoothing is on one so if I change that to three and just watch the difference to the picture it's a bit smoother it's on feathering number one at the moment. If I change that to five, and you just watch watch the picture on the right, feathering, if you turn it up high, means it's a very soft edge. And in this case, that doesn't look very good. So you can experiment with different feathering radiuses. But I think I'll stick with two. And then offset boundary. So at the moment, it's on zero. So if I try 1.5, see what that looks like. So that, that you need to experiment with. You need to make sure it's on custom. Now there's still a little bit there that needs going, uh, deleting right in the corners. So on the a brush of five, I want you to go straight into the middle there. Just between the heads. Just to try and make that curve more uh, sharper rather than round as it is now. I can go a bit further in here. You can also do it directly on the result side as well. And that one. So if there's anything there that needed to be deleted, I could do straight on here. I can't see anything here, but maybe here. I could go straight into there. But then I think that's taken away some of her head, so let's undo that. So to test it, I can put a different background on just to see what it looks like, and it doesn't look too bad there. Put it back to transparent, and then download that picture. Download it to the computer. Close it, and it actually puts the grid cross there. It puts a, a copy of that image here, so you could come back and and retrieve that. So let's go back to Pixlr. Don't want to keep that picture, but I want to open as a layer the key picture that I just completed, which is here. And it's put it straight into that picture of the pool. It's a little bit too big though. There's the, the actual picture with it. It's transparent, so it just fits right onto the foreground as a new layer. I really want to make that a bit smaller. So I can resize it, edit, free transform, and make it a bit smaller without distorting it. Just so they're sitting in the foreground apply the changes and then put some text on so I'm going to make a collage the kids in the pool this is going to be a postcard home pick a fonts and a color Let's make it white move it around okay. I'll pick the fonts and I can pick a size a bit bigger. 
Okay. Move that. I put a layer style in and drop shadow on that. Okay. There we have it. A collage using two pictures, one where I've removed the background. We just save that picture. As a JPEG. Okay. Downloads. And let's have a look at the finished picture. Close that. Which hasn't come out too badly. So that's all for this video.